Okay, good morning, you guys. Um, welcome to our life. My husband's name, my name, and our last name. Thank you guys so much for clicking on our video. I hope you enjoy. Um, again, today is, well, again, today is Friday, May 10th, and I am headed off to the barbershop so the little one can get his hair cut. And uh, let's see here. I think that's pretty much it unless something comes up and I have to and I remember to pick something up but right now I don't think I need anything so the only thing I'm going to do is take him to get his hair cut so he can have a fresh cut for Mother's Day and you guys <laughs> I almost well I did I totally forgot about Mother's Day this is what happens when you're my, when you're so busy doing other things and my sister sent me a card and I'm like what it was coming up my anniversary isn't isn't this month so I was trying to figure out what is this and I said oh yeah it's Mother's Day <laughs> so I, I totally forgot I'm still kind of not used to celebrating Mother's Day even though my little one is two years old but yeah, yeah. so you guys probably won't see this yeah. until Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there soon to be moms or even those folks who have um, lost kids because you know I before him, I had miscarriages and things like that. So you're still a mom. You had a baby. It just didn't, mm -hmm. you just didn't give birth. So happy Mother's Day to you as well. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and get on this road so I can get the little one's haircut. Okay, what's going on, you guys? He is all done with his haircut. Looking so fresh and so clean, clean, huh? Yeah, he's all done. It took a little while because he had a um, someone before him, and I didn't show the before, but I did get footage inside. So that's the after. Say hi. 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 <laughs> yeah. And he did pretty good as usual. Um, and because we had to wait, he did get a little antsy towards the end. He's two years old, y'all. So. <laughs> But he, he didn't cry or fuss or anything like that, but he did get a little antsy towards the end. He always does good with the um with the barber, so no complaints Mine. there. And we were in there for a little while, so we just Mine. gonna go ahead and head home. Cause I really didn't have much planned today. He does need Mine. more shoes. <laughs> he does need more shoes, but I think I'm gonna wait until next week Mine. to go shopping for shoes for him. Talk to you guys when we get home. guys we are home we've been home for a little while um, the little one threw a fit so yeah I'm a little exhausted after that yeah <laughs> so 
so I'm still dealing with that. But he threw up and he's down. Um, I just put him down for his nap, so he should be falling asleep shortly. And now I'm pre preparing something to eat. You might hear the microwave blow off pretty soon. And uh, yeah, just sitting in that barber shop. I was on, the only one to sit in there. And there were a few people in there, a few men, of course, some barbers and some customers um, getting their hair cut. And they had an interesting take on the Aisha Curry situation. I know everyone is talking about it, and probably no one knew she felt the way that she did. But I was listening to them talk, and they had a very interesting take on it. I will get into a little bit more detail towards the end of this video, but I was sitting there ear, ear hustling. <laughs> but yeah, they had an interesting take on it, and it, it was good to hear from a male's perspective and they were all on the same accord there was no debate they all agreed on the same thing so yeah i will talk more about that towards the end of the video let me go ahead and get um get my food so i can eat and i'll talk to you guys a little later what's going on you guys um i am headed off to this dreaded nail salon and it's not dreaded because I have to get my nails done. That's a luxury. I want to get my nails done and my feet done. It's just that they take so long, which makes it not a good experience or whatever. And I've tried other places. They will do my nails right, but not my feet. So there's always an issue. So I'm still on the hunt for that perfect salon. But that's where I'm headed. The little one is, is napping. My husband is napping as well. No, he's just not waking up. And, um, yeah, I do want to discuss the whole situation about um, Aisha Curry, but I think I'm a um, um, that'll be on the on the way home after I get my nails done. I'll start talking about that or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in. It is the following day. It's Saturday. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Okay, what's going on, you guys? I am done. Um, I can't remember. I think I left my house at two o'clock well yeah i got yeah i got to the nail shop around two o'clock it is now two minutes to four two so it took me about two hours for them to finish so that's not too bad i guess i guess and i did my they um i got my nails and my feet done so an hour each <laughs> Um, anyway, let me go ahead and talk about the Aisha Curry situation and how she mentioned um, she kind of wished that more, she got more attention from from men and um, because her husband gets all of this attention or whatever. I think, um, in my opinion, I think she fails to understand that her husband is an athlete who makes millions of dollars that happens to be cute. So, but the cuteness is the latter part. These women are usually looking at um, the potential being taken care of for the rest of their lives, and that's why they're so pushy and there's so many groupies or whatever. But I wanted to, my main point was well, the main thing I wanted to talk about was <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention to the road and talk at the same time. Um, the conversation the men had in the barbershop with my son when I took my son to get his hair cut. Um, they made some pretty valid points and I kind of wish she could have heard that conversation like she was a fly on the wall. They were basically saying that um, they respect her and her husband. Aisha Curry is um, the Mary type and I know a lot of people don't agree with a woman being a Mary type and not the Mary type or whatever. But she's um, she checks off all, everything on the list. You know she's a good homemaker she's a good mom she's good to her husband um, her priority is her family and not only that she's um, she's beautiful and this is what they were mentioning they got a little shallow <laughs> in between there but they were mentioning how a, a man isn't going to disrespect that they're not going to disrespect the woman or her husband so that's the reason why she won't well, she doesn't see too many men looking at her or trying to hit on her because of who she is, basically, and how they're trying to respect her and her relationship with her husband. So that conversation, I was sitting there listening like, wow, wish she could really hear what they're trying to say. Because, you know, you have the, there's women out there who men just want, men know they're going to pursue to marry 
So that conversation was very enlightening. Um, I just wish she could have heard that. And I, I believe it would have made her feel so much better. Um, because I was kind of the same way. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking like, gosh, I'm dating all these losers and no one's about anything. And you have to really know your worth, basically. And I think Tamara, from the show The Real, she mentioned the same thing. You know, someone told her, you know, you know, she, I don't think she dated a lot, but she couldn't figure out why men wouldn't talk to her or whatever. Because these women are beautiful women, but at the same time, if you're that woman who um, is a lifetime partner, and, and, and if a man is not ready for that, they're not going to pursue you, basically. So, yeah, that's all I want to say, pretty much. I hope I didn't um, offend anyone. These are just my thoughts, my opinions, and then the conversation that I heard in the barbershop kind of... Um, um, made sense it made a lot of sense so yeah I'm not judging her in any kind of way I don't know Aisha Curry I've never met Aisha Curry I don't know nothing about her and you know who am I to say she can't feel the way that she feels I mean you can't control how you feel so you know and she was bold enough to say it and I'm sure there's a lot of women out there who feel the same exact way and maybe she's helping those women as well so there's no judgment on her because I would never judge anyone who expresses how they feel about something or how they're feeling personally you can't judge someone on that so yeah that's pretty much it again I want to thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you subscribe don't forget to thumbs up the video, hit that notification bell, and um, I will talk to you guys in my next video. God bless.